بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ ٹوڈے آئی ول ایکسپلین دا ٹاپک ہائیڈروسائنیشن آف پالیسیز واٹ از ہائیڈروسائنیشن ایکچولی ہائیڈروسائنیشن از دا پروسیس ان وچ ایکسین از ایڈڈ اکراس a double bond of an alkene to form a nitride. Here we have an olefins and we add HCN around the carbon-carbon double bond to get Marconic of or anti-Marconic of a product. We can add around alkene or alkyne. Alkene or alkyne may be surmounted using transition metal catalyst Transition metal catalyst addition of cyanide across pi bond may occur in two ways. Here, Marconico product mean the negative part goes to dead carbon which are less number of hydrogen atom. And anti-Marconico mean those which have greater number of hydrogen atom. So we will get saturated vinyl nitride or simple nitride. by using HCN in the presence of catalyst. Hydrocyanation is mostly done by using nickel catalyzed and copper catalyzed hydrocyanation. Nickel catalyzed hydrocyanation, the steps involve oxidative addition of HCN to a nickel catalyst to give hydrido nickel. cyanide complex abbreviated as NHCNL2 alpha ligand then binding of alkene give an intermediate after that migration insertion to give alkyl nickel cyanide and at the last by reductive elimination nitrile will be formed this is the complete mechanism how hydrocyanation take place This is our ligand NiL4. L is the ligand which are attached with the central metal atom. It will follow two mechanisms. First, the two ligands are removed and we add alkene. So it will add NiL2 with the alkene. Then after oxidative addition of hydrogen cyanide, and hydrogen cyanide will be added on ligand to form one is cyanide and other is with hydrogen the other mechanism first we removed one ligand to form nil3 and after that first we add hcn and hcn will form a five membered compound hcn and three ligand are attached with the central metal nickel and after that we removed one ligand then also tetra shape molecule will be formed and after that we will add alkene here alkene is added later and in this mechanism alkene is added first and then hcl so after both mechanism we will get the same product and after that the ligand will be removed and this cyanide will form a covalent bond with the metal after migratory insertion we will get ch3 this h will migrate here and ch3 ch2 with the central metal will be formed and other molecule of ch2 C2H4 will be added and after that ligand will be added and we will get CH3CH2 with ligand and olefins and after that reductive elimination step will be take place and we will get CH3CH2 and then here CN will be removed CH3CH2CN will be formed mean we will get alkyl nitride and here if another hcn is added 
then we will get C2H4 or C2H6. This is the drawback of the hydrocyanation, which will be explained in the next slide. Catalyst decomposition. Actually, deactivation can take place if the intermediate hydride are alkyl species react with HCN. In first, when we add HCN, then maybe an other molecule of HCN react with the ligand and deactivation take place and dicyanation will be take place. So, in this way, we will not get alkyl nitrile. The other step at fourth position when alkene are added with nickel then it is possible that HCN will deactivate this catalyst and we will get alkene other than alkyl nitrile. So these are the two drawbacks which are take place during the nickel mechanism. First, here when we add HCN, then it is possible that another molecule of HCN will react in this step. And then it is possible that when we add alkene, then it is possible that we will get C2H6 instead of this alkyl nitrile. So, there are two mechanism problem during hydrocyanation of nickel. At an elevated temperature, terminal alkyne may be hydrocyanated by a nickel complex in the presence of Lewis acid and provide anti moriconic of addition selectively. Here we have alkene when we add HCN in the presence of aluminium chloride. At 60 degree centigrade, we will get majorly terminal alkyne as anti moriconic of product and only 2% moriconic of a product. Hydrocyanation of 1,3-butadiene to get deponitrile, which is the precursor of nylon 6 6 synthetic fiber. Depon have commercialized the addition of HCN2 butadiene for the production of adiponitrile. When butadiene is treated with HCN, the presence of nickel catalyst, then we will get 3 pentene nitrile or 2 methyl 3 butadiene nitrile, mean we will get a mixture of a product. Now, after that, Nickel, I summarize this anti morconic of product to anti morconic of product. 3 pentene nitrile react with Lewis acid in the presence of HCN dicyanation take place and we will get a depot nitrile, which is the precursor to synthesize a nylon 6 6. Isomerization of 2 methyl 3 butyl nitrile to 3 pentyl nitrile. Here we have 2M3BN, which is isomerized into 3PN. Mean this CN we have changed to this terminal side. How it takes place? First, it reactivates the nickel phosphine. After that, this cyanide will be transferred or nickel and we will get an adduct with alkene. Nickel allyl cyanide will be formed. And after that, the hydrogen from this carbon will be shifted here and we will get diene. Or it may isomerize to get this product. So, it is possible to change 2M3BN into 3PN, 3 pentene nitride basically. Second is copper catalyzed hydrocyanation. Copper is a good catalyst for hydrocyanation reaction of alkene as compared to nickel complex because two problems arise in nickel complex. 
कॉपर बरोमाइड रिएक्ट विद HCN टू गिव एन एडक्ट प्रोडक्ट एन इंटरमीडिएट एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल ऐड डाइन दैट इज बीटा डाइन एंड एन ट्रांजिशन कॉम्प्लेक्स विल बी फॉर्मड एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल सब्स्टिट्यूटेड अल्काइल नाइट्राइल विल बी फॉर्मड how it will react copper salt react with hcn and copper salt mostly with ammonium chloride it will form copper cyanide and it will be released then copper cyanide react with acetylene and form an adduct after that copper make a covalent bond at one terminal and cyanide on the other terminal so this product will be formed and after that this acer proton react to release this copper and attach on this side so we will get alkene nitride synthetic application of nitrile because after nitrile addition on alkene we will get different types of product that is why Cyanation is very important. After hydrogenation, we will get imine. After hydrolysis, we will get imide. After hydrolysis, by removal of ammonia, we will get carboxylic acid. Treated with alcohol, we will get ester. Treated with hydrogen in the presence of NCl2, we will get aldehyde. Reacted with H2S, we will get thiamide. Reaction with Ammonium hydroxide, we will get imide. Reaction with Bignard region, we will get with carbonate. So, after addition of HCN hydrocyanation, we will get a lot of product. So, it is very synthetically important.